Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how to achieve smooth camera movement in the context of a top-down game. Now the reason that we want to do this effect is because it can look kind of off-putting or uninteresting if you just have the camera following the character with no kind of effect. But if we add smooth camera movement it can make the game more interesting in the right kind of context. So let's not waste any time and go into Unity now. Okay guys we're in the editor and I have a scene that I've already set up that I'll have available for download as a Unity package in the description. But right now I'm going to go into the scripts folder and I'm going to create a new script out of C sharp and it's going to be called smooth follow. So we're going to open this up. And if I pull Visual Studio over here, I'm going to just completely remove the start function and I'm going to add our um, members at the start here. So I'll create a transform of the target that we can assign in the editor. And then we're going to create a speed of how fast the camera is going to follow our target. I'm going to create a Z offset, which is another float offset. Oh, I forgot to write float here. Call it float. And this is going to be how far back the camera is from the character so that it's not directly above him. Um, and then I'm going to create a Boolean smooth follow, which is just going to be so we can turn on and off the smooth follow to see what the difference is. And I'll set this to true by default. Okay, now in the update function, I'm first going to check if there is a target. So if our target exists, oops, then we want to assign some position values for where the camera is supposed to be. Oops. Vector 3, new position, equals transform.position. So we're going to start out by setting it to our position, and then we're going to set the x, so new pose.x is the target's position, dot position dot x. And then our z, new position dot z is equal to the target dot position dot z minus the z offset. Okay, so these are going to be the new position values that we want to set, but now we're going to make the camera actually follow it. So first we're going to check if we don't have smooth follow on, we're going to have our regular movement. So transform dot position equals, oops, new position, oops, new position. And then in our second one, we're going to have an else here that says else transform dot position equals vector3 dot lerp. And we're going to go from our current position and then to the new position and by the camera speed times time dot delta time. And the two factors that are really going to make this into a smooth camera movement are the fact that we're using a lerp, which is linear interpolation, which is basically going to keep increasing the value uh, or changing this value to this value over time. And then we're also using time.delta time here, which is going to smooth it out. So we can just go into the editor now and see how this is going to look. But first we have to go to our main camera and we have to attach our smooth follow. And I believe this should pop up. Oh, I didn't save, that's why. And there we go. So now we'll assign our target as a player. And we'll leave the rest of these values as they are. Except first we'll turn off smooth follow just to see how it looks. And you can see the camera sort of just gives an uninteresting view. It doesn't really seem like you're going anywhere. But if you turn on smooth follow, the camera gives more of a feeling that you're actually going somewhere. It makes the game more interesting. And it's just a nicer view to see. But that is going to be it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I hope it helped. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it, and hit the subscribe button for more stuff like this, and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.